Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So this is video two in the Rigid Flex Design walkthrough project. So uh, we have been talking about what the Rigid Flex Design is in the previous video. Today I would like to show you how you can do an Altium setup uh, for Rigid Flex Design. So basically the layer stack, how to set that up. Now what we are going to do is first of all we're going to use existing stack ups. Sometimes manufacturers or assembly houses they provide an existing stack up. So that's an easy way to go. Another way to do it is fully manual um, and that's also one thing that I'm going to show you today. We'll start again with these rigid flex stack ups that we have been discussing before. So we have one two layer stack up where there is then one flex layer let's say and we also have a four layer stack up with two inner layers where the flex is basically these two inner layers that is what we're going to look into today how to set up your layer stack in altium to get started on a rigid flex design like this now first of all a lot of information is typically already provided by your pcb assembly house or pcb producer for instance there's altium templates over here for the two layer stack up that we've seen the four layer stack up that we've seen so I've gone ahead and I've downloaded this one. So that's a PDF that we see over here. So we have two layer setup and there's the flex layer. I've gone ahead and I've downloaded that stack up for Altium. So first I would like to show you how you can load that inside of Altium. This is a standard PCB dock, nothing special, nothing that I changed yet, a schematic dock. So typically to open up the layer stack manager, you go to design layer stack manager, and then you'll be able to see how your actual layer stack looks like. This is a very simple stack up. There's a top layer, there's a bottom layer, and that's it. Now, what you can do is set everything manually. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but the easy way is to use existing stack ups. So the one we've downloaded, you can go to file, load stack up from file. And then I'll go ahead and I'll select the flex two, so the two layer variant. You just open it and it will be imported as your actual stack up. So right now that stack up is loaded. What you'll see is that there's a board layer stack, but there's also a flex stack in there. So this is only the flex part remaining. Maybe let's have a look at that PDF, how that resembles that. So what you see over here, there's a flex top solder mask of 0.04, then a top side 0.2. 0.3 and a 0.05 core. Well, we have exactly that 0.04 flex solder mask. Then we have the top side, um, the actual copper 0.03 and the polyimide carrier. That's the 0.05. So that's exactly that. Same thing, of course, is true for that board layer stack. If you would compare that with the complete board layer stack, of course, that is exactly the same. So this is a very simple way to already get started. This is the actual layer stack that that uh, specific PCB production house will use. So you are 100% sure that this is correct. Now, of course, if it's more complex, the stack up, so for instance, the four layer stack up, you can do exactly the same. So you load that one from a file. This is now a four layer stack up with two inner layers as a flex. And here's your stack up. So what we see is there's a rigid part. So there's one, two, three, and four copper layers. Again, the thickness is exactly as what has been defined, of course. And there's also a flex part. And what you see in there is that there's a cover layer, inner layer, polyimide, inner layer, and a cover layer. That is exactly how it looked like. So in the bottom part on the flex, you see cover layer and inner layer. Then we have the flexible core, again, the copper layer, and then the cover layer, exactly as we expect it to be. So this is how you can do that very quickly with existing stack ups. Now I would like to show you how you can do this manually. Now let's go back to a very simple two layer structure. So we have a top layer, a bottom layer, and there's a dielectric in between. And let's say we would like to match it to this kind of stack up where we have a flex in the top layer. So there's a flexible solder mask over here, then top copper and the flexible polyimide core. Now important to remark is that that flexible polyimide core is above the preprech and then you have the core material over here. So what we need to do is to add a core here above that dielectrica. Just to be in line, let's say with the spec. Now the thickness, you would alter that according to your stack up. So for instance, in this case, uh, that would be a flexible core. That's this one that we're looking at of 0.05 millimeters. So let's go ahead and change that. Then we have a top layer that is 0.03. So we can leave that more or less as it was. 
And then top solder 0.015. And again, the complete stack up depends a bit on the one that you're using. But basically what we are going to do is we're going to extend this core material. So we will say that this is our flex part and then the top layer. And we'll also have an overlay. Now what you see over here is that the flexible the flex top flexible solder mask that's a solder mask that is not present over here so how are we going to do this well first of all you go to tools features and you select rigid flex this will enable you to add an extra board stack so you click on the plus icon over here and then you select the layers that you would like to have in your stack so i'm going to deselect all these except for our top layer copper and then the core of course that we have um, added just yet so it looks like this stack one i'll call it flex and i'll click is flex that will be important in the next video where we're going to do the pcb layout now what we also need to do is to add an extra layer above and then we could call it cover lay or overlay depending on what you use but we're going to go ahead here with, here with flex top cover lay the thickness in this case for this cover layer or the, the flexible solder mask is 0.04 so let's go ahead and change that 0.04 and then of course the 0 0.03 0 0.05 that we already set that will remain and that's basically it you can save that what you'll see is if you select the flex over here you'll see the layers that are used in your flex part and then if you select the board layer stack there you'll see the layers that are being used in your rigid part let's say so again this is very dependent of course on the type of layer stack that your manufacturer can provide but this is the type of setup that you would do and this is how you can get started on a rigid flex design in altium so i hope this was an interesting video on how to set up layer stacks for rigid flex in our next video we're going to do pcb layout and we'll specifically focus on bending lines split lines to make sure that you actually in 3d can uh, visualize how your rigid flex will bend how it will look like uh, so looking forward to seeing you in that next video bye bye